Hi, Steve. Welcome from IT Junkers here. In this video, we're going to talk about the new features in iOS 7. And uh, if you are thinking about upgrading iOS 6 to iOS 7, here are some of the new features you can expect it to see. So upon the successful upgrade of iOS 7, you can uh, now slide to the cross to unlock the screen. And when you're entering in the passcode, you can see all the buttons now are very flat. And this includes all, all the buttons on the home screen, all the design and now come with a flat design instead of the raised 3D design in uh, iOS 6. But you can see all the, everything's all really nice and flat now and nothing is raised. Now moving on to the control center with the new um, iOS 7 you can now have um, a control center and this basically contains all the shortcuts to some of your most uh, useful uh, functions uh, such as uh, turning on or turning off airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, um, screen rotation lock and do not disturb functions. You can quickly also access the camera app or you can uh, quickly adjust the screen brightness. You can also um, quickly adjust the volume using the volume control here or even play music um, from uh, the control center. And this control center is basically uh, available on any screen. So it doesn't matter whether you are playing games or using some other application, and you can always access this uh, control center from anywhere. Now with the Safari browser, now there is a new um, design with the URL and um, the search uh, text box uh, or a combined one universal uh, text box so you can either put uh, the search or enter the URL address in the same box here so very similar to um, Firefox so you can just basically uh, use uh, any keyword and it will um, perform a search or go to a URL now here is a shortcut you can tap on that and you can access some of the frequently used shortcuts such as uh, making bookmark, uh, add to home screen, copy and print and you can quickly access some of the other applications from here you can also uh, add new tabs uh, by tapping on the add icon there is a cloud uh, iCloud tabs and uh, tapping on the uh, bookmark icon you can view some of the history uh, user guide and uh, the favorites now if we go to music you can see uh, music also has been redesigned so I'm just going to access the store now so at the bottom there is um, different categories you can go into music, movies, TV shows, audio books, top chats, genius and purchase uh, music now at the top there are different uh, categories so you can go to all trend ways, alternatives, pubs or more Now moving on to the camera app, you can see now that it has, it has new features. You can switch mode between the video, photo and swear by using the swipe function. So by swiping uh, up, you can move to photo and then swiping up again, you can go into a swear mode. Swear mode is mostly used with a Instagram because with Instagram photos, now it uses the, the swear mode. So iPad come with a swear mode where you can just um, um, have a uh, square rectangle and you can see basically see how your picture looks when you up upload it to Instagram. So we just press the home key to go back to the home screen. And with the messaging app, you can now uh, view messages by uh, sliding it to the left and you can see quickly see the time of the messages. And uh, this is quite handy because you can t uh, quickly tell uh, how long ago you sent that message so by sliding to the left you can see the time uh, come out on the message then uh, there's uh, multitasking on the on the home screen key so by pressing twice on the home screen key you can now view all the uh, application that you have opened so you can just slide to the left or to the right to view all the application you can you have opened and by sliding it down at the bottom you can quickly uh, scroll across all the application so this one uh, at the bottom it allows you to quickly scroll across the screen whereas at the top you will uh, uh, basically scroll slower now there's another change with the application is the notification 
So by sliding at the top down, there is a notification screen. And this basically shows you all the notifications on your phone. Uh, you can see the calendar and uh, what have you. With the O, you tap on the O, you can see everything. You can see all the missed uh, miss call, missed messages of today. You can see the weather as well at, at the top here. So with the new um, Siri, there is a new voice. So New York weather. The weather's looking good for New York City, New York, the United States between today and Friday, up to 28 degrees Celsius. As you can see, there's a new voice for series. And finally, uh, with the applications, it can now be automatically updated for you once you have confirmed it to do so. So that's um, some of the new features on the iOS 7. So as I said at the beginning, this is just to intend to show you some of the new features on the iOS 7 and not to um, show you a details of what's uh, inside the iOS 7. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more video tutorials.